On today's episode, we're going to talk about building a real estate empire, one property at a time. Stick around, I've got some great information for you. To say you gotta know somebody, or know somebody, to get somewhere these days. To say you know that car ride, yeah that's alright, cause you know that's all alright with me. Yeah you know that's alright, yeah that's alright, cause you know that's alright. Hi, I'm Phil Falco and your host of Addicted to Real Estate TV. Today's episode is sponsored by Addicted to Real Estate Agency. If you're a real estate investor in the Philadelphia area, you should be hanging your license with us. Hanging around with the founders of a company that are some of the best real estate investors in the area is going to benefit you in more ways than you can consider. We also give 90% commission, which is pretty darn good. So give us a call at Addicted to Real Estate Agency and learn more about how you, an investor, can be a realtor as well. All right, so on today's episode, we're going to talk about building a real estate empire one property at a time okay I've been doing this for 26 years and I love to talk about this topic because building an empire that's what it's all for right you know 20 30 years from now you want to sit back and you want to have something worth many millions of dollars that's putting off a bunch of cash flow so how do you do it well the secret to it is that you gotta learn how to buy it with none of your own money you got to learn that trick if you can't do that you're sooner or later going to run out of your own money. Everybody does. I don't care if you got 50 grand to your name or you got $3 million. Sooner or later, if you're going to be in this business, you're going to run out of your own money. And you're going to need to learn how to buy properties with none of your own money. There's many ways to do that. Quickly, the three major ways are you raise private money to buy a piece of real estate with an investor's money. You own the property, the investor puts up the money, you pay him an interest rate on his money just like you would with a bank. But with private investors, you don't get penalized by the sales price like a bank will penalize you. You can borrow more than 100% of the uh, cost of the piece of real estate provided that you put together a wonderful deal. If you put together a great deal, you can do that. If you're just trying to buy some uh, retail piece of property off the MLS, that's not going to work. So you got to learn how to buy properties the right way. And then you got to find the lenders to lend you the money. So that's one great way. Another way is subject to, okay, We're taking over existing mortgages, a mortgage takeover program. And if you want to learn how to do that, I'm your man. You got to watch my TV shows. I've already made numerous TV shows about subject to uh, acquisition strategies and you should check it out or click on the buyer's briefcase right on my website addicted to and learn exactly how to do it that's where you'll find the most specific videos and the third way to do it is using seller financing I've also made dozens of videos about that so I'm not going to explain it right here but these three major techniques private money subject to seller financing you master these three techniques and you will be bound by nothing okay and that is the way you have to be buying real estate and I don't want to hear any excuses about well Phil you've got all this experience and you've got all this money that's baloney you've got great credit I don't have good credit that's baloney I'm telling you right now you don't need your own money your credit never even comes into question your credibility comes into question with the private investor who's lending you money but your credit is not really going to be an issue okay nobody ever asked for that for me and I assume that you would not have that problem either I mean it's possible that somebody might and if you got good credit then that's only going to help you okay so where's all this going what the heck am I buying all this real estate for well because I'm addicted to real estate but what is the plan what am I going to do with it all well that's pretty simple I am expecting to live a very long life okay I just figured out recently that if I live to 111 that would be the 300th birthday of the United States so that's my goal I'd like to see that party uh, so I'm planning to live to 111 so you got to take care of your health before wealth but that's a subject for a whole nother video so what are you going to do with all these properties that you're going to buy well obviously it's going to be hard work to manage them right but uh, it's not impossible and over the years you're going to learn how to do it and as you get better and better at it you're going to be able to take on more and more so one of the best things about real estate investing is that you own these properties and you own 15 million dollars worth of properties in 15 years now your 15 million dollars worth of properties are worth 30 million dollars well my friends that is one wonderful way to get rich that would be 15 million in uh, accrued equity 
that the properties went up over the course of 15 years. Now, I'm not a mathematical genius, but that's a million a year. And it doesn't count principal pay down. It doesn't count the cash flow you're going to get from the properties. And who's paying down those mortgages anyway? Not me. Who's paying them down? The tenants are paying them down, okay? So you're building wealth in this business and you're receiving cash flow for which you can feed your family off of. And then the only other factor that you need is some time, okay? Funny thing happens in this world. I was just telling a young friend of mine who's 26 years old, I said, you're going to blink your eyes one day and you're going to be 40. Life goes by quick, okay? Real estate investing almost makes you build wealth through the fact that real estate is not always that that liquid okay so you buy a piece of real estate you know you're gonna be sitting on it for a while you're I, I tell people to be buy and hold investors because that's where the real money is okay you can make short term money by doing flips or doing wholesale deals but the real money to be made if you can hack it if you're willing to put in the years of effort is being a buy and hold investor okay you are going to become a multimillionaire almost, it's almost impossible not to become a multimillionaire if you get into the real estate investing business. Even if you bought only one property a year, 15 years from now, 15 years from now you have 15 properties, okay? And I'll tell you what, if you do it with, if you learn how to buy houses with none of your own money, why the hell would you only buy one a year? You should be buying 10, okay? As many as you can stomach, as many as you can handle, all right? This is a great business, my friends. That's why I'm addicted to it. That's why I share this information with you, because I love this business. All right? If, is it, this is, if this is the first TV show that you're watching, go to my website, addictedtorealestate.com. The address is right here. Put your name and email address in so I can share with you the meetings that I have and the information that I'm sharing with you and the knowledge that I want to share with you. And who knows? Maybe we'll even work together. Maybe we'll partner together on a deal. I also have meetings all the time. I invite people to my meetings through this channel addicted to real estate's TV show so if you sign up for the show you're gonna get invited to my meetings I also put out wholesale deals on this uh, channel from time to time so you will get uh, not only invitations to the meetings but you're also gonna get property sometimes that I'm letting go at bargain basement prices I'm Phil Falcone from addicted to real estate and get your name on my email address and learn how to buy houses and none of your own money and start building your real estate empire one property at a time.